Hey guys, so today in this video, um, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't actually done in quite a while. I'm going to be doing a flight sim software review or a flight sim setup review. Um, I haven't done one of these in actually quite a while. If you want to see my other flight sim software review where I reviewed the Logitech 3D Extreme Pro joystick, it's up here in the right hand corner. But today, as you can see, we are um, spawned in the A319, so that might give you a bit of a clue of what one of the um, one of the joysticks or flight sim stuff that I have is going to be. But anyways, let's stop dilly-dallying with the planes and let's actually get into the joystick. Okay guys, so I've been saving up my money for quite a while now, and I've been able to save up enough to buy the Logitech Flight throttle quadrant and the incredible like legendary airbus or thrustmaster tca airbus side stick so um i'm like they both come in these very very nice and sleek boxes you can see here we've got all the stuff we can buy to go along with it um and this one i also like it's got a nice little photo of it there and the rest is just very nice it's got some instructions on the back here but let's get into unboxing so I'll be right back with you guys once I've got the boxes open okay guys so we're starting off with the uh, TCA Airbus side stick and it comes here very very nicely packaged as you guys can see um, I haven't opened it up yet so this is my first time actually like pulling it out of the box and taking a look at it as we can see here, the joystick is very nicely wrapped up in bubble wrap um, in this nice plastic bag. And then, just pull it off and get the joystick. So, this joystick actually, it doesn't look as dingy as it looks in like Amazon photos and it feels amazing. There is so much nice resistance to it. It's a bit like easier to move around than I would have thought. But it's thick, like it doesn't look that thick, but like compared to my other joystick, the 3D Pro, this thing is like a monster. These buttons all have a very, very nice feel and a nice little plasticky click. There are two triggers actually, as you can see here. We got this one down here and then this one right here, this little button. We got the hat view button and we got whatever this is. And we got these buttons. <laughs> we got, of course, the uh, sliding throttle, which I will not be using. Um, and then we got what looks like 12 other little doodads that we can program. But like I said, it's got twist, which is very nice. And it just feels really nice. And it actually, without even switching out the little knobs on the sides here, it feels amazing in the left hand. Actually, I think it's meant for the left hand right now. I've been holding it with my right hand. But either way, it just feels amazing. I'm going to have to get used to it though. It also comes with these two other uh, little side things if you want it to be for your right hand. And this is all very well packaged. Thrustmaster did an amazing job of keeping it all nice and safe. So now, let's move on to the throttle. So here we got the throttle. Um, it comes in a very nice box, like I said before. You just pop it open and then slide it out. So, once you get it out of the box, it is in this very nice black packaging. Um, you just pull it open and you got all the stuff for the throttle. So, you got these different little heads for the throttle st sticks or levers um, and then you pull this I don't even know what you call this cardboard off and you get the throttle so in here you have um, this little attachment for if you want to like fly a 747 or something and have it very nice it's got the three little things for all three different little levers you can just hold it very comfortably it feels amazing to be moving it around while holding this Further into the box, we get the throttle. 
and this comes with a lot of replacement head parts as you've just seen so if you break one you do not have to worry at all in the slightest now getting it out of the box here oh wow it feels amazing so we got these little nice rocker switches so something that I did not was not aware of I thought these would be switches like a light switch where like you flip it, it stays one way but no these are just two different switches you press one for each thing the throttle feels very smooth and I can totally see how someone would want to move all four up um, I'll see if I can like program one of these to flaps or something but it's also got this nice little click for when you get down here into idle so you can hear um, and let's see what else is in the box okay so what it also comes with is the um, of course the mounting system which is all like I said very very nicely packaged up here in this plastic um, yeah so I'm gonna quickly rip this all out show it to you guys and then um, I will get back to you once I've got it all set up on the desk okay guys so now for a quick update I've got the GeoFest flight sim all loaded up and I've got my joysticks all put onto the desk this one took a little bit of assembly as you can imagine I had to screw this thing on but screws held well it's in a very nice position move all the levers um, you do have to be careful this doesn't like stop screwing you can keep screwing it in um, but you just want to be careful because this could bend right here and break other than that though very quality I like the feel and it you can just like grab one lever and at a time you don't have to worry about bumping the other ones and like having your mixture go up to full or who even knows what and then it's also nice to have this here to steer so now guys if you're wondering why I didn't just get the TCA officer pack I've got a quick reason it's more expensive and I'm pretty sure GeoFest is not capable of having dual throttle levers and it actually working how it's supposed to work so I thought why not save 30 bucks and just go with this and this and it works fine it looks a bit weird having uh, Thrustmaster and then Logitech but I think it should work so I'll get back to you guys once I've got it all hooked up to GeoFest okay guys so um, I have the throttle quadrant right here and the joystick right here and it's all set up um so now let's go to test flight so as you guys can see i have hat button working all the throttle levers working over here for this one right here uh i have the black one i have throttle reverse thrust and the neat thing is actually with the spoilers i can adjust how far out they are with this one see i can put them out a little bit all the way only a bit so that is a really nice function sadly I can't make any of these flaps but I'm honestly okay with that I've got flaps and gear and a bunch of other stuff set and there are so many buttons half of them I'm not even using as you can see here I've got a ton of random axes and buttons that I'm not even using right now but um anyways let's take off really so um Release and parking brake. Gonna make sure I got no flaps. Um, well, maybe I'll put a few notches of flaps in. And let's start to increase the throttle. As we can see, goes up perfectly fine. No delay whatsoever. Just move it all the way nice and up. And now we are on our takeoff roll. Uh, this is pretty crazy for me. I've been saving up for almost a year now just to get these. So this is pretty awesome. You can see on our takeoff roll, I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can see the speed. There's 140 knots. Gonna rotate. Well, still got to get used to the left handed because I've been flying righty my entire life. Now I got to do some lefty stuff. So I'm going to put up the gear. So you can see that's going up nicely. Get rid of the flaps. And now we are in the air so I can back off on the throttle a bit. And we're, we're flying. All the control axes work. Um, 
and like I said, this joystick just feels amazing. The throttle feels great over here. It's nice to have all the things working. Um, yeah, enough of this. Let's let's get some, I guess, a landing in, because we can see obviously this this all works pretty well. We were able to take off perfectly fine, and now we're just in the air cruising around San Francisco in an A319 with the Airbus side stick and Logitech throttle. It's kind of funny though. I'm using Thrustmaster and Logitech, two rival companies. Now let's get to landing. Okay, so my apologies though if this landing is a bit rough. Um, as you guys probably already know, I'm not the best with flying with my left hand. But you can see I can just put out a little bit of spoilers here just a tiny bit comes out on the actual plane. I'm going to pause it right there. And um, you can see I've moved out the spoilers just a little bit. So it's like in a nice landing position. And I can slowly move them out as far as I want them, which is really, really nice to be honest. Because you don't just have to go all in spoilers all at once right, before you, right as you touch the ground. And I can also arm the spoilers, but I think this way is a bit funner. So, I'm going to lower my throttle down. Don't know how fast we're going because that text is so small. This is looking good. Add some throttle in here. And we're a bit off center line. I don't really care though. It's not like I'm trying to land this insanely. I'm trying to land this insanely well, but like, oh, not, not the best landing I've ever had. That's for sure. Oh, oh. And we're down. Okay, so full reverse thrust. Full spoilers. Oh, got a turn there. Ooh, flying with the left hand's a bit harder than I thought. And then I can just pull brakes, pull everything, even just release the brakes, and I am just on the ground rolling. And I've got this this is just really awesome guys. If you guys want a more budget setup but have throttle quadrant and have an amazing joystick, I highly suggest this. Because it just feels amazing right now, to be honest with you. Like, you can see, I can just do that reverse thrust. And the nice thing is, it's like, if you've got, like, throttle in, and then you accidentally bump the reverse thrust, it doesn't affect your flight at all. And I'm pretty sure it's the same with the reverse thrust. Go going reverse thrust. Oh, actually, no. If you're going reverse thrust, you pop into throttle. Everything's going to be messed up. But at least with the throttle, it's not the same. And then, of course, you see, we can move the flaps to whatever position we want. And the other nice thing is, um, this idle zone right here, which I'm going to take the camera and show you guys. Oh, don't mind me. Uh, right here, you guys can see, there's like an idle zone right here, this red. This stuff here is actually registered as a button. So, that's what that clicking is. When I go down into it, so, not really live with that one, but especially like with this one, you can see when I go into it, it actually registers as a button in the options menu on the flight sim. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my flight sim setup and review. Um, like I said, I highly recommend it. This only cost me $160 on Amazon. I know it's a bit much for GeoFest, but it'll transfer over to MSFS or anything problem free, which is what I'm hoping to do in a few years. And it just really makes it feel a lot better and a lot more immersive so I highly, highly suggest getting the Airbus TCA side stick and Logitech throttle quadrant. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. No, I thought.